I had a friend who brought me a Gibson SG standard that someone had tried to install a Bigsby V7 uh, vibrato on and basically intended for a Les Paul. And the string spacing was not the same, so it would never work. He had picked up an aftermarket WD Meister Vibrola, and I told him I would install it for him. When I removed the Bigsby, someone had also prior installed a Meister Vibrola on the guitar, but done it incorrectly. I installed the low E and high E strings to help me align the Vibrola with the bridge and saddles. This is a good way to see if you're installing it straight. If not, it'll be easy to see bends at the point where the strings meet the saddles. After aligning the body of the Vibrola, I placed a cover on it to make sure it was aligned also with the edge of the guitar. Only then did I drill the holes to move forward. After installing the Vibrola on the guitar, it's going to be a long and iterative process to actually tune your strings of a lot of tuning and stretching, tuning and stretching, tuning and stretching, until you finally get it to be stable. 